Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy NTG back here with another video today. And today I'm going to be going over another coin making method that you guys can use inside of Madden 22 Ultimate Team to make millions of coins. You know, you guys have been loving the coin making method, so I figured I'd bring out another one. And I figure with the new content dropping this Monday, there's a great coin making method in the game that you guys can use at the moment. If you guys like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Alright, so in case you guys have been living under a rock, we obviously had the bonus promo drop in Madden 22 Ultimate Team today. Essentially what the promo is, it's going to be a 6 week promo, where we get 4 legends every single Monday, and basically they're just added legends on to the weekend. So it's nice to get some more 94 overall cards in the game. And we've got 4 cards today, those being Charlie Young, Bruce Smith, as you guys can see on the screen, uh, Everson, Walls, and Dan Deed, or if I'm going to refresh to see if anyone popped up, as Everson, Walls just did. Uh, Charlie Young, we'll go over stats first. 94 overall vertical threat tight end, 91 speed, 84 strength, 92 catching traffic, 94 catching traffic, or excuse me, 92 catching, 94 catching traffic, 93 spec catch, 87 short out running, 88 medium route running with 83 run blocking. Overall, card solid, decent, you know, vertical tight end is 6 foot 4, I believe 234, that's what that said. So it's a solid tight end. Uh, Everson Walls, 93 speed, 93 excel, 94 agility, 94 jumping, 89 play rec, 93 man coverage, and 92 zone, and 94 press. Six foot one, 194, you know, man to man corner. The card is a very, very good card for sure. And finally, Bruce Smith. His card 90 speed, 89 excel, 92 strength, 90 tackling, 90 play rec, 92 block shed, 94 power move, and 90 finesse move. Easily the best left end in the game, in my opinion. Now, these cards, first of all, please don't pick them up right now for 700 to 800k. The cards are not worth it, but this is where the coin making method is going to come in. We're going to head over to the 84 raw cards. And as you guys can see, their prices, you can get them for about 23k. I believe if you get them all for 23k, you're going to need 30 for set. It's like 710k or something like that. You're basically going to complete it around 700k. And these cards also have power-ups that are very, very expensive right now. So we're just going to look up the names real quick. Uh, we have Bruce Smith. We're going to start off with him. We'll see his top-end cards as Bruce Smith should be close enough. Um, 45k for his power-up. You know, that's not a crazy amount. Obviously, it's very good for power, but it could definitely be more than 820k for his actual card. So, I mean, these cards are selling for a ton, guys. I mean, his power up 45k easily you can sell it for. And then you look at his 94 overall card, 822k. Just tons of coins there. Uh, next card, we'll look up at Everson Walls. Now, he is, as I'm trying to type his name in. There we go. Everson WA should be plenty. Um, you guys can see power up 95k. That's a very, very good price. And then his actual card's going for 800k. You can probably sell them for 700k. So it's not bad. And then we're going to look up Dan Diedorf. His, now this is the best right tackle in the game. So it's going to be a very sought after card as Dan Dye should be f enough. And 57k is 95 is not up. So about 55k or not 95, 94, uh, 55k for his power up. Uh, 94 probably gets for about 800k as well, so not a bad one to do either. And finally, uh, I believe it's Charlie Young is his name, maybe? Something like that. Eagles tight end. Charlie Y. It's not Charlie Young. I forget his name. So I'm just going to type in Charlie. Hopefully it pops up. As we'll have a ton of our Charlies, but... Let's look. It's not Charlie? What is his name? I don't know why I'm blanking on this tight end's name, but... What is his name? I am I'm puzzled right now. What is his name? I'm completely blanking on it, but obviously going to have to know his name here. Bonus program. His name is Charlie Young. He didn't pop up. Did I spell Charlie incorrectly? I must have spelled Charlie incorrectly. Anyways, um, we're going to check his power price. Obviously, his power up is going to be going for a lot as well as Charlie Young. How is he spelling Charlie? So I'm a little confused now. All right, so there's no I, it looks like. So it's just, that's all? Okay. <laughs> all right, sorry about that. Sorry about that confusion. Uh, we have Charlie Young now. Bonus program. We're going to check his power price. Astral card, about 730. Not too bad. As we're going to head over to his power up. 80K. All right, so the best one, in my opinion, you guys are going to do is Everson Walls real quick. 
Um, again, I spent about, you know, 700k on the set. I ended up picking up all the set pieces before the video. Head over to Bo's No Program. And here we go. Everson Wall is going to cost 30. I believe I picked up 30 exactly. And I did. Okay. So we're going to add all these cards in. And we're going to be able to sell this card for about 700 750 we'll say. And this power for about 100k. So we're going to make a quick 75k. And I mean, it took me legit maybe five minutes to snipe all these cards. Because they're getting thrown up rapidly right now. Obviously, throughout time, they're definitely going to not be as rapidly thrown up on the block. But here we go. Everson Walls. That is a sick animation, Everson Walls. There we go, and that's power up card. So there you guys go. There's a little quick coin making method for you guys. Obviously, you're gonna need a little bit of coins, but you're not gonna need a ton. You know, 700K, you should have, or you should be around if you sell some cards. This is just gonna continue to build the bank up. As we head over to newest, and we'll throw this up on the block. Everson Walls right now is power up. We're gonna sell him for 93K. So that's definitely a nice price for him. And then we're gonna sell his actual card for probably closer to I don't know, 800k. So I mean, right now, I mean, there's there's tons of ways to make coins in this game. But in my opinion, with the with these sets being out right now, these are easily the best way to make coins. As that that card really get bought for 809k. I cannot believe that. I would not fully sold at that as he did. Okay, so we'll sell. We'll throw it out for 840. Maybe it'll sell. Maybe it'll sell. Probably not, but maybe we'll have to wait and see. We'll throw it out for 842. If it sells, we make like I don't know 150k just like that. So. Hey, I'll tell you what, definitely worth it in my opinion. And there you guys have it. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Obviously, you know, the video might have been all over the place today, but I wanted to pump out this coin making method for you guys. I know you guys have been loving and showing massive support on the videos. So, you know, hey, like the video, like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on post notifications, do anything you want. It helps out the channel in any way, shape, or form. My newest video and my, you know, profile will be popping up. So feel free to watch my videos or, of course, subscribe. And I'm NTG. Peace out. But I'm invincible. Nobody gon' bring me down.